Oh no. You quickly hide behind the walls, saving yourself from being caught. Now what would I do? If they see me, they'll surely gonna end me today. You peeked out to see the group of men standing outside your rented up room. I don't think today I'll be able to go inside my house. Thank God I have a night shift today. You quickly ran away from there while those men were continuously ringing your doorbell. An old neighbor came out after getting irritated by the noises coming from outside. Why are you all making so much noise and disturbing others, huh? A guy looked at her. Ajumoni, do you know where this girl who lives here is? She looked at all of them suspicious. Who are you all and why you want to know about her? One of them seemed irritated by her but because she was old he held his anger back. Ajumoni, tell us if you know or else you can leave. No, I don't know. And if you guys stay here disturbing the neighborhood, I'll call the police. She walked inside her house while the guys chuckled. Old people these days are so annoying. Yeah, let's go, but keep your eyes in this house all the time. I'm sure that girl would come. This time, don't let her go. He walked downstairs followed by his gang and sat in the car before driving off. Anyoga seo ajumma, you came inside the store while the lady looked at you. Thank God you came. Now handle everything here. I have to go for deliveries. Okay. You took off your bag and started attending the customers. Sir, your total is 2001. Customer gave you the money. Wait a minute. Here is your change. Thank you so much for shopping. Another customer put their stuff on the counter as you smiled and looked at him, but your heart skipped a beat and cheeks turned pink to see the guy standing in front of you. You co- just got frozen in your place and now you regret for looking like a trash at this moment when your crush is standing in front of you. Are you okay? You flinched as you snapped back in reality. You started scanning the items he brought feeling embarrassed. Your total is 5001. He gave you the money and picked the noodles and drinks he brought before walking to one of the chair which was inside the store. He poured hot water in his noodles and added whatever he just got before eating. He came here after a week and not to lie you were missing him. Even though you guys barely exchange any words, but he is your crush and you like him a lot. He's a little mysterious type of guy and interesting too. His father is the director of the college you study, but you never see both of them talking, and you always just eat at the convenience store alone as if you dislike going home. You were processing the payments of customers. But your eyes were on Jungkook. You always feel so good until he stay inside the store. You don't know if it's a coincidence or what, but he started coming to this store the day after you joined. Jungkook lifted up his head and looked at you. You gave him a sandwich, but I didn't buy it. You put it on the table. I know but this is from my side. You were so nervous but butterflies catch fire in your stomach when you saw him smiling softly. It was slightly visible but enough to make you happy. Thank you. You nodded and walked towards the cash counter smiling. You were so happy to hear those words from his mouth. Next morning. 
You came back from your part time to get ready to go to your college, but your face stopped when you saw those men again there. What the heck they are in front of my house? Your eyes widen when one of them noticed you. She is there, catch her. She is running away. You quickly ran away from there and those men behind you. Yeah, stop right there. I'll be a dead meat if they catch me. Please God save me this time. You were running with your full speed but also running out of breath. Suddenly they appeared from the front as you stop and look back but now you were trapped. Now where will you run huh? He scoffed. You really think you can fool us? You started to take steps back while heard beating like a drum. I'll give you your money. Just give me a little time. He laughed. You are not at all trustable, you devil. Now you have to pay in other way. Just give me a week. I promise I will return it to you. The contract has already expired last month and I have given you enough time. I know you can't pay back so I'll receive it in my way. Yeah, grab her. I said I will give it back. I, I want to take more than a week. One of his men about to grab you but before that someone else grabbed your wrist from that narrow alley and dragged you in. Yeah, catch her. They all followed. Your life is more complicated than it looks from outside. I know and thanks for saving me. You both were running through the alleyway, trying to distract those gangsters behind you. But why are they after you? What's the matter? I'll tell you everything but first we need to disappear from their sight. He took another turn dragging you along while this time those gangsters missed you. Shit, where are they? Find them. She's gone this time. Don't worry, they won't come here. You can relax. He sat on the chair still looking a little tensed. Thank you so much for saving me today or else they would have taken me with them. Who are those men and why are they after you? You don't want to tell him this ugly truth of your life but there's nothing to hide or else he would think something else. Lone Shark I borrowed some money because I have nothing when I first moved in here and the college fee is so high that I can't afford so I have to borrow money from them but I never thought they are so dangerous and I would end up like this. You should have asked to someone else rather than these loan sharks. These people make fool to others and get double of what they lent. I had no option that time. You took a sip of your juice when something came in your mind. You looked at Jungkook. He knows you and as far as you know, he's a very kind guy. You decide to ask him for help. Jungkook, if you don't mind then can I ask you something? He slowly nodded, looking a little confused. You hesitated first but decided to bring it. If you don't mind then, can you lend me some money so I can pay them back? I promise you that I will return you your money back within a week. There was a silence for a good time. You were feeling so embarrassed after seeing it and mentally slapping yourself while Jungkook just looked at you for some time and then he took a sip of his coffee before taking a look at you. I will. 
your face brighten up and your new look can count on him thank you so much i promise i will return your money to you it's okay i don't need money in return now it was your turn to get confused doesn't it then what i'm sorry but i can't take it like that don't worry you can pay it back in another way another way what's that that was the day all my perceptions about him shattered like a glass i adored him a lot he was the guy of my dreams but never in my thoughts i thought that he can be this type of guy i cried a lot last night not because he asked for that but because why he had to say that all my dreams to be with him now shattered and it's hard to accept are you okay vayan you snapped back out of your thoughts and looked at her yes if you are not feeling well then you can take a leave don't worry i won't cut it from your salary no i'm fine ajumma she nodded and patted your back okay she left while you started doing your work the bell rang and when you looked at the person walk inside you quickly turn your face to the other side you thought he would stop but he doesn't and come near you Jungkook knew that you're mad at him but that day you just left without hearing him properly and when he tried to talk to you in the college you ignored him he picked a can of cold drink and came at the counter you simply scanned it avoiding to look at him Thousand nine hundred thirty-one. He paid the money, but when you didn't look at him, he called your name. Wayan, please listen to me. I have to look over other customers too, so please you can leave. You said without looking at him, and he knew you are mad. See, I know you are mad at me, but please listen to me. One time, I want to clear something. He looked at him angrily. Why do you think I would listen to you? You really took no time to show your true colors. I never imagined something like that from you. You also know how to take advantage of someone's situation. Jungkook knew he did a mistake and created misunderstanding by directly asking you that when his intentions were different. He could see how hurt you are by his carelessness. Wayan, he left from there and started arranging things in the shelves. He knew it's of no use to convince you at this moment because you are mad at him, so he left with a heavy heart. A tear dropped from your eyes when you saw him leaving. Why did you even say that? Do you really thought I'm that type of girl, or you are just like those guys? Don't you think Jungkook Sunmi looks a little sad these days? I noticed that too. Yesterday was his birthday. I wonder if if does he get any wishes or not. You looked both of them surprised and then you also remember that it was his birthday yesterday when he came to talk to you in the store. But why? Why are you ignoring him these days? I saw him trying to talk to you a few times, but you ignored him when you can't even stop talking about him. We both were waiting for your answer. There's nothing like that. See you guys later. You walked away from there. What happened to her? He straightened up and stood properly when Junko came out of his class. He was confused and surprised to see you there. He walked near him. First he thought you might have come for someone else, but then he realized that you don't really get together with seniors, and when you reached near him, he got sure that it's him. There was silence until you decided to break it. I'm ready to give you a chance to explain yourself.
You stop fidgeting with your fingers and gather your courage to finally see what you want to. I might sound a little straight forward here but maybe you also know that I have liked you for a long time. I thought you were different from other guys, basically someone I can like and trust blindly, but you proved me wrong. He slowly turned his eyes towards you. I also want to be a little straight forward here. I don't know how and when I started feeling for you. Nothing can be more surprising for you than this. You never thought he has feelings for you, but I never brought myself to confess them to you. I wanted to, but I can't. That day, when I asked you to spend the night with me, I didn't mean like that. It was my 21st birthday. To be honest, I never celebrated my birthday in my life because unlike others, I don't have that happy and cheerful life in fact. Not a decent life at all but after meeting you, I feel good. That day I wanted to ask you that I want to celebrate my birthday and it would be a precious memory if you were there. I just didn't able to frame my words properly out of nervousness and you thought that I... He doesn't complete the sentence. means you really felt awkward and embarrassed don't know how much you have cried and cursed him for something that was just your own imagination yes that's what i wanted to ask you i'm so sorry i just you know that day so much was happening so i just i was just a little frustrated i'm sorry it wasn't your fault so don't say sorry you covered your face with your hands while resting your elbow on your thighs. Sorry for ruining your special day. I already said that it wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself. You got up before looking at him. Let's come with me. He looked at you confused. Where? Just come. You grabbed his hand and walked him with you. Jungkook felt his eyes getting moist as you came with a small cake carefully holding in your hands. You looked at him and smiled. I know it's a day later but happy birthday. You carefully placed it on the table and sat on the chair before looking at him. I'm really very bad but if I can put a smile on your face, I would be happy. You already make me the happiest person. You chuckled softly. Good to hear. Now make a wish and blow the candle. He looked at you before blowing the candles. Thank you so much for making it special. You smiled and gave him a spoon. It's the bare minimum that I can do. Let's eat this cake because it's my favorite one and after this, let's go for a movie. And then you can also tell me what you want to do. Let's dedicate this night to you. He laughed a little. Don't you have to go to your part-time job? I took a leave. You said already eating the cake. And what about those gangsters? You looked at him. It's weird. They stopped coming. I guess they have given me a last chance. I need to pay them within this week. Jungkook just smiled a little. You don't know this but he already paid those loan sharks and even warned them not to even come near you. Maybe you'll find it out once you go to pay them. Did you figure out what you want to do? He looked at you and brought his lips together in a pout. Spending some peaceful time near Han River. How's that? Wow, you're seriously so husband type. Your eyes widen as it just slipped from your mouth. I mean, it's a great idea. He chuckled and looked down while you closed your eyes in embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs>